What's going on guys, Andy from Manic Fitness here. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to perform the front lever and all of the different regressions you're going to need to get there. Stay tuned. So, front levers. The front lever is an isometric hold. Uh, the end point that we're looking to get at for this training is to be able to pull up, hold, come down. Now, for the front lever, what you're going to have to do is learn a few different exercises that are going to take the weight off the, off the front of the exercise. And that's going to allow you to hold the position that you need to and work your way up there. So, first things first, uh, understanding the movement is crucial. So, the front lever is not so much a core exercise. It's not necessarily any more difficult on your core than an L set. What you have to realize is, it's the movement is using all lats, essentially. So what you're gonna have to do is keep your hips forward and press down with your hands, like that. Press down with your hands. One thing that I like to do with clients is stand in front of them, have I hold my arm underneath their arms that are outstretched like so, and I ask them to just press down, keeping their arms as straight as possible. So you can do that using a wall, anything you want. Just try and get that feeling for contracting your lats. That's what's going to be pressing you down. Cool. Okay, so now that we kind of understand the movement a bit better, we're going to start our first regression. Now, first regression is going to be a really tucked lever, which looks like this. Get into that lever position, straight arms, and you're just going to tuck your knees right into your chest. Okay. Hold that. And come back. That's our first one. This one uh, is not exactly like the lever. It's not going to be fully using your lats, but it's going to be getting you used to being in that lying back position. The next one is a big jump up. Uh, so what you want to do when you first start is hold these for sets of around about five seconds. So this next exercise is the more advanced tuck lever, where you're going to be holding it just like a normal lever. So knees out, hips straight, So again, when you're learning, when you're programming this for yourself, you're wanting to do round about sort of five seconds for three sets. Build your way up. So what you want to finish off with, with the tuck lever, is you to hold that tuck lever for around about 30 seconds before you move on to the next exercise. Okay, so the next exercise is the one-legged lever. So what that looks like is, you're gonna go out into your tuck lever, and then you're going to Extend one leg. Back, extend one leg. Back, extend one leg. So when you first start working on your full lever, you're going to want to go from the ceiling down to the floor. It's going to be a little bit easier for you to engage your lats and really start pressing down going from this position. So it looks something like this. Go from an upside down position, down, down, down. Relax. So on your way down, try and slow yourself down as much as possible. That's going to get you used to holding it, holding it, holding it. Once you hit that perfect position, you're going to be able to contract your lats as much as possible, really start pressing down, and hopefully get stronger. So sets and reps of this are essential, um, and you'll find that you'll build up quite fast. Once you get to this level, it's really about just increasing seconds, seconds, seconds every workout. Okay, finally, we can also be performing ice cream makers. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to get us stronger at the contraction. So, as opposed to starting from the top, we're going to want to start from the bottom, contract our way up, okay? It's going to look something like this. So, starting from a uh, bent arm, we're going to pull up, and then we're going to contract up. Like so. 
those are ice cream makers. Okay, to finish off, I'm going to show you a, a, a little bonus thing that you can do. So that's using a resistance band. Now, I don't necessarily recommend using a resistance band for this particular exercise. To be honest, I feel like the static poles are enough. If you're programming your static poles smart uh, and doing sets and reps of a number of seconds, building your way up, you should get strong enough to hold your front knee mirror without using a resistance band. Uh, that said, the resistance band can be kind of useful for teaching your hips to be in the right position because through the static holds, you might find that your hips drop slightly when you're in that front level position. So, to use the resistance band, you're just going to put one foot in, and then the other, and just perform the front lever like you would without assistance. So again, this is great for getting your body used to the position that it's going to need to be in, um, but not necessarily as good as just using stack holds quite fiddly, that sort of thing. So that's it for today. Thanks very much, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Please like and share. And if you've got any ideas for future videos, please give me a shout. Um, I'm happy to go over other skills, other topics. Thanks. See you next time. Oh,